Boys, 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 my starlet lovers, haters and destroyers, how are we all? Now, the last couple of months has been interesting to say the least. Everything that could have gone wrong and some problems and things, it all came at the same time. Um, I run a mechanical business full time and just do the YouTube stuff on the side, making the videos and you know playing with Nick and Peter and building and, and whatnot. Um, I had quite a lot of bills come in, so I just had to put the YouTube stuff on hold for a bit and sort out some other dramas that, I've, that I had going on um, just to get back in front and get some traction again, get moving again, um, but that's life, I guess. YouTube definitely doesn't pay as much money as everyone dream it does. I'd probably get about 60 bucks a month. I purely do this as hobby, just for enjoyment. Um, I really enjoy interacting with you guys, you know, giving us ideas and uh, just you know, building the cars and doing that sort of thing. But unfortunately, I had to put that on hold to sort out um, my full-time job. If you guys do want to support the channel, you can join. If you don't want to, I don't really care. That's okay. That's all good. Again, I just do this just for fun. Um, do appreciate your support. But we're back. We're back. There's a few things that's been happening and a lot of things that haven't been happening. Just going to do a quick walk around. This car, the rear-wheel drive Starlet, the one that I said that we were going to jump straight into, get it all happening, well... We started making the frame. I do have a video coming out with this, by the way. We started making a frame and doing a couple of things, but um, yeah, that had to get put on hold. But I'm super keen to get back into that and um, yeah, get it all going. The blue car, literally, it's been sitting here and hasn't moved for nearly three months now since I put the new cams in, um, set up all the valve clearances and all that. It's just sitting here. I've been waiting months, and I'm telling you months, from uh, Ross Performance Balancers. They've been meaning to build a trigger disc for me for the front of the balancer. I've been waiting months. By the time I kept ringing, asking, hey guys, what's going on? Can you let me know how long it's gonna be? They you know, keep putting a couple of weeks on and just never happened, so I gave up. I ended up um, getting a friend, Ryan. He actually drew up um, the trigger disc, and then I just took the uh, design to a local company. Uh, they took a week or so. And they've actually cut out a trigger disc for me, which that bolts straight on the front of the balancer there. Um, I'm going to pull it back off and obviously make it a bit more prettier. Um, then we're going to make up some sort of bracket off here to hold the cherry sensor, which will then plug into this and go around to the Haltech. And literally, the blue car is ready. It is ready for a dyno tune. Ready to go on the dyno and try and push, you know, 400 horsepower. It's been a long time coming, so I'm super excited for that. Everything else is done on it. As I said, we've got the new ECU wired in, the built forged engine in there, new clutch. It's all happening. It just hasn't been happening. Now, another thing I want to talk about is intake manifolds. Now, I'm sure there's a couple online you can buy. I've actually bought the Chinese ones off eBay for about $550. They do work okay. Haven't had any problems with them yet, but they do look pretty ugly and we're all about improving and making stuff better. So me and my buddy Ryan, he's a mate of mine who does all the CAD drawings, 3D printing and that sort of thing. We got talking about it. Um, I sent him down a cylinder head and he done a heap of scans and he actually started designing an intake manifold on his, um, on his computer program. Now it's easy enough for us to um, design this intake so we could have you know, sheet metal and things like that. But Ryan's going one step ahead and actually wants to 3D print an intake manifold. Now his 3D printer does nylons and soft plastics and all that sort of stuff. But he does have a friend who has access to a 3D printer which can do all sorts of um, metals and stuff like that. So Ryan wants to design a intake manifold in plastic. He's gonna send it up to me from Sydney. We'll test fit it, um, you know, see if we've got vacuum lines and throttle body and all that sort of stuff in the right place. Um, once we're happy with that, he simply sends the file over to his friend who then can 3D print the intake manifold um, in aluminium. And the way it's described, it should look sort of like the skunk manifolds that you've seen uh, for piston racing and on a lot of Hondas, rather than having like a sharp edge where it just finishes towards the back of the runners, the back of the cylinder head. Um, you should be able to have a nice sort of bubble shape um, with four even runners. Looks more, gives it more of a factory look and Making it out of this 3D printer material, the boys seem to think it's going to be stronger than making it out of sheet metal, so this is going to be incredible. There's going to be a lot of R&D in making this work, but the cost to be able to print it is also going to be far cheaper than hand making it from aluminium, 
and we think we're going to be able to sell these for a very reasonable price to you guys so stay tuned for that so that is going to be sick so in the meantime i got the files for the intake and the exhaust manifold gaskets off ryan and i took them to a local laser cutting place and they come back with this so this is a 1.6 mil aluminium um, intake they fit on there nice i was happy with that and said cool print me five of these in 10 millimeter and we ended up with all these here so while ryan's uh, messing around playing around with these 3d printed stuff i figured i'd get some aluminium um, plates done and get some of these trumpets and actually start you know having to go make my own ones although the end of these trumpets are round same as this pipe i can squash at one end so we get this oval shape which then fits beautifully over there so we can do the same thing with the trumpets for that um, they'll just be a basic if anyone was watching the nagt when i made the airbox for it We'll just build a similar plate up like this underneath it, which will go you know, around here. So we've got a starlight cylinder head sitting like this. Flange will go on. We've got our four trumpets. There'll be yeah, some basic box section that goes around here and into the throttle body. The GT has also just been sitting here collecting dust, collecting rust, collecting mold a nice rat home for the last few months um, collecting trees this has just been sitting here ever since we had that power skid sort of burnout comp with the track months ago and has a burnt out clutch and just sort of hasn't moved i want to pull this engine and stuff out and i really do miss the na stuff you know um, the six speed the big cams the ported head The ITBs, I, yeah, I miss having it. So I want to pull this engine out and um, that's going to be one of the next jobs we're going to get done. Just so I can get it back on the road and drive it again. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I'm up to. Um, anyone that's wondering what Nick's been up to, I mean, he's put thousands of kilometers on his Starlet. Um, anyone that's old to the channel would know exactly what's inside that engine and a few thousand kilometers is actually quite surprising. Um, anyone that's new to the channel probably doesn't really know to the extent of what's been going on and what we did to actually get that car up and running. I think it's going to be a great idea to go through a bit of a timeline from start to finish in a new video and explain in detail what's in Nick's engine, um, which is pretty jaw-dropping. But it's got the big G30 on there still and we've got the nitrous bottle filled up. We're actually hoping to turn 400 horsepower on the dyno, which will probably be up around 30 pounds of boost. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for the next video, guys, and talk to you guys soon.